Alright, so I actually played some Yu-Gi-Oh! for the first time ever tonight, and we're gonna actually watch these replays. Um, these aren't super amazing, uh, but they're still pretty cool. I was playing that 60 card OCG deck that you guys saw me profile earlier. This deck is relatively fun, and as you've seen here, my hand is pretty lit. Um, I was still kind of exploring the deck. Um, I kind of just assumed that Dark Law... Um, it's pretty much going to be your go-to. You want to make sure you don't lose it, even though the deck is, what, 60 fucking cards? Um, trying to trigger a Dark Law. Uh, for some reason, he wants his graveyard uh, intact, uh, which is relatively interesting. I'm not sure what he banished off of his pot, um, but Tree Toad's pretty much going to do its thing here. Um, his hand looks like it's pretty brick central, um, which is kind of sad, considering... Um, the potential that Dark Magician has as a deck. Um, there wasn't, once again, too much you can really do uh, when you just have Bahamut Shark gradually recurring monsters. As you see, I finally got into the Empowered Engine here, uh, which um, being able to have the opponent's monsters uh, set up more constant XYZs. Uh, as you saw, my opponent scooped at this point in the game. Uh, wasn't much that he really wanted to put up with there. Uh, next up, we had someone testing Cosmos with a really weird build in the OCG. Uh, might have been an OCG player just testing some things. I'm not exactly sure what was going on here, uh, but we all know how much we love Cosmos. Um, they're gonna get a Dark Law on the board here, even though it's gonna die to Dink Daddy. Um, just kinda figured it was the best play. My hand wasn't too lit here. As you see, I'm kinda stuck with the young Shiranui. Uh, top deck terraforming made this hand lit. Till my opponent decided to be a dick and dark bribe. Sometimes Twin Twister happens. Um, t milled that Shiranui to give me the out. Um, I remember being overconfident to my opponent and just saying that I won at this point. Not much he can really do. Um, we have an empowered engine going. I, mean, I guess my opponent can just top deck MSTs now. Um, this game is pretty much just downhill uh, from here for my opponent. I feel kind of bad, but he wasn't playing the most optimal build. I'm not exactly sure what he was doing with his deck. Um, like, worst card here. Just normal zone bubble man, go for game. Once again, uh, I don't know. This deck was really fun. Uh, I believe next up was Red Dragons. Um, yes, this was the Red Dragon deck. I wasn't too sure what his deck did. Um, I opened up Chaos Trap Pool, as you see there. Milled an Electric Magnetic Turtle. I mean... My logic was if my opponent gets to Black Rose, I kind of lose. Uh, but he can only summon Dark Dragons because of that large thing he did. Uh, I did Twin Twister for the minus one just to get rid of what he was doing. Um, kind of just didn't care at this point. As you see, I'm milling massive amounts of cards to get the Shiranui engine going. Uh, just additional rank fours for days are really fun. Here comes the Shiranui really using its effect to not allow my opponent to play the game. Uh, it would give that card a lot of credit. Um, it definitely seems like a really good card. Uh, here comes pretty much the end of the game with Rare Fish and the Bahamut Shark. Uh, you'll see Treat Toad be summoned here, uh, which definitely makes this situation a lot worse for the opponent. I made a Rafflesia set on Treat Toad, Seraph Knight, Minerva. Um, pretty interesting how weird this deck is. Um, as you see, just clumping up here. Red door not doing anything, and then just game. Uh, and then last up was this really weird Ignite Galaxy deck. Now, if you're looking at his hand, you're probably like, what the fuck is going on here? Um, I misplayed for some reason at the beginning of this game. I, I had this terrible mentality of <laughs> uh, summoning Shadow Mist actually resolves the effect to search for the spell, but that's not actually how it works. Uh, this guy just massively played into Maxi. No fucks given. He didn't even have a follow up play. Had he got to another pendulum scale, my twin twister would have probably blew him out because he negated the Shadow Mist. You see here, my hands is pretty much gonna blow him out here. The Lila and the Empowered Engine. Uh, getting my young of the spirit in the grave. Now the grave's loaded. Um, <laughs> this guy was arguing with me in chat. He's like, hey, you, wanna, you ready to lose? and all this other fun stuff. I don't know what he's thinking because he just kind of gets Tree Toad Lila to death here. Well, his big play is this Odd Ice Fusion that he has in his hand. 
which he thought was gonna do a lot, but it, I just kind of steal it. <laughs> like, it's not gonna be much he does from this point on. Uh, his big play is trying to make another infinity, which I really just kind of plus off of here. I'll let him try to set up and then Shiranui away his level 5. And that's sadly all she wrote for this guy. Um, Tree Toad Reflasia dismills. That way I can just go straight for game here. Um, no BS here. So, overall, honestly, these, re these replays are probably not of the most optimal games, but not gonna lie to you, um, it was kind of fun playing this really weird deck. I know you guys uh, just saw the deck profile earlier, so maybe this is something you guys will jo enjoy. Uh, maybe not. So guys, leave a comment down below. Tell me what you guys think. I know it's a little bit normal, out of the ordinary, but I wanted to play some fun Yu-Gi-Oh. All right, guys, I'm out. Later. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please thumbs up this video to show your support. And please check out Vancole 40 for Cardfight Vanguard, M. Cole Games for miscellaneous trading card games, and No Limit Gaming for a brand new series of Yu-Gi-Oh! videos. Thanks for watching.